Bates Bunny and it's everybody's favorite day of the week. And that's the day of the week when we ask ourselves, does this thing really work? And today we are doing the extremely highly requested Balloon Bonanza, which is supposed to be this magical water balloon maker. And it's basically like clusters of balloons on a bottle cap that you can fill up all at once. It makes 40 water balloons at once. And in this box, you get a total of 120 water balloons. So you get three different clusters with 40 balloons a piece. I literally ordered this like about eight weeks ago and I'm pretty sure I selected expedited shipping and that didn't work. I was just hoping that I would get them sometime before summer concluded. But so far I have not seen them in stores. So if you want these, you may have to order them from the official website yourself. I did a little bit of math and for a box of these it's $12.99 plus $5.99 shipping so it's about $19 and when you break that down divide it by 120 look at me doing some math these balloons are roughly 15 cents a piece the best thing about this is supposed to be the fact that these balloons are self tying and when I was younger I used to love to do water balloon fights but I could never tie a balloon I probably still can't tie a water balloon so I always had to get my mom or my dad's help so that is the beauty of this device you just screw this bottle cap on to your water hose and it really does look like the top of a soda cap and then there's all these little straws like 40 different straws which fill up all 40 water balloons at once and then in the commercial they just show you you just like wiggle this around a little bit and there are these tiny little things I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to see them because they are clear but they're at the end of each balloon and you're just supposed to shake them and somehow I guess these devices seal the balloons. In this box you get blue, you get yellow, and you get red. And online I have seen some green ones and some purple ones and some orange ones, but I have no idea how you order those because there wasn't really like color options on the website. All right, let's get a coffee buzz and then go outside and have a water balloon fight. <laughs> so excited, so excited. Welcome to my backyard, a beautiful oasis full of neighbors mowing their lawns and dilapidated swings that I refuse to let Dogman throw away. So there was literally only four rules for this product and they recommended to fill up a 10 gallon container, like a plastic tub, full of water and inflate the water balloons over that. You're supposed to fill it up halfway. Now we have an airplane. This is why I don't film outside. I don't have a 10 gallon tub. I only have a seven gallon tub. So that's what we're gonna be using today, breaking all the rules. And here we have footage of a plastic tub being filled with water. Wow, so amazing. Okay, uh oh. Oh my goodness, okay, too far, too much. That was hilarious. <laughs> okay. Let's go ahead and try and fill up the blue ones first. You're just supposed to uh, screw this on to the spigot, like so, and then gently turn this on. Ah! Oh my goodness, okay, they're already starting to fall off. I'm not sure. If this is how it's supposed to happen, boys and girls, but this is what we're getting. Oh, look, they're all just sprouting off by themselves. Some of them are. Okay. Except for this little guy. Come on. Oh, there we go. Some of them are really teeny tiny. I'm not sure if that's because my faucet is kind of at an angle here. This one sprung a leak. Are you guys seeing this? Oh my goodness. Most of these are totally intact and I'm honestly not sure. I'm gonna try and see if I can unscrew this hose cause some of them did come off really teeny tiny. I'm sure that they would still be plenty of fun to throw cause I mean, the point of a water balloon fight is just to kind of splash somebody with water. So I'm gonna have Dogman come help me kind of take our hose 
off of this spigot thing that we have because I'm thinking maybe that's affecting the size of the water balloons. They did all break off cleanly and we only lost one. It had like a little hole in the bottom. These are pretty much what the biggest water balloons look like and a lot of them are smaller like this like little tiny grape water balloons okay you guys i have a little bit of bad news while a dog man was fixing the faucet to make it work better we added an extra hose so i can fill it up like not hanging off of the spigot but when i came back there were nine more water balloons that had totally deflated and they do say that you have to use them within 10 minutes of inflating them but it's literally only been about five minutes so now with the first one that was busted we have 10 out of 40 water balloons that we could never use pretty wasteful Oh man, some of these aren't even inflating. Having the hose tilted, I'm not sure if that worked to our advantage or not. They weren't as easy to break off after they filled, like originally two didn't come off. I finally got the other one to come off, so now we're just left with this one. But I don't know why some of the water balloons just have a hole in the bottom of them, because that's what I found out is wrong with this one. There's just like, this is just broken. There's a little hole pierced in it. And a couple more out of this bunch, like I'm seeing two, three right on the top they have holes in them like when you squeeze them are you guys able to see that tiny little stream of water it's like they have a hole poked in them so obviously they're not gonna hold water oh and look here's more rising to the top so this is one two three four five five six off of the yellow strand so far i don't know what to say about this you guys i'm holding on to all the ones here see here's another blue one that got deflated already so that makes 11 blue ones really quick we are going to inflate the red ones and then we're gonna toss them at each other For some unknown reason, the red ones seem to inflate the best and make the largest balloons, but some of them are still popping up utterly deflated. They have holes or they spring leaks. I don't know why they're rising to the top and I literally filled these up about a minute and a half ago. So it definitely has not been the 10 minute time frame. So we've lost a lot of these guys along the way. I think that we're down to having only 97 water balloons now, but some of these, it's a bit hard to call them water balloons because they're like teeny tiny. And the blue ones are kind of getting on the long side. It probably has been 10 minutes since I've inflated these, but like I said, I just inflated these so there's no reason in my mind why they should be this teeny tiny so here we have a willing victim because I don't even think that like these small ones like that's just gonna bounce right off it won't even splash let's see if like here's another really small one I here's another really small one I'm not exactly sure if this would I don't know no, see, like when they're so small like that, they're less likely to break, I think. It literally, I'm, I'm, I feel like I'm throwing these really hard at you. I feel like almost abusive right now. See, like this, eh, this wouldn't even, okay, look, let's just try and throw it on the ground and even see if that will break. Oh, he did get it to break. Okay, let's see. That was a good one though. Oh, okay, okay, the teeny tiny ones, if you throw them with a lot of, Maybe not. Okay, if you throw them with a lot of force, they roll away. Now I'm gonna throw one of the really good ones at you and let's see. Okay, maybe <laughs> I'm just really bad at water balloon talk. Wait, did it just break in the grass? Mm. That is so unfair. Step back and throw it from a distance. Okay, I'm gonna step back and throw it at a distance. <laughs> now I'm the willing victim. Ah! Nope. <laughs> <laughs> That was like at my face. Oh, sorry. Ah! Oh! Ow! Oh my god, water balloons are not fun for the whole family. Oh. 
Are you okay? Okay, I'm not a willing volunteer anymore. That's messed up. Is this the one you hit me with? Yeah. Now it's just springing a leak. Ugh. Okay, they're fun to throw at the ground. I'm gonna try and hit you again. Oh. Throw another one in my bag. Ow! Okay, I'll throw one at your back. Nope. Nope. <laughs> no! Alright! Three strikes, you guys. Now we can see all of you! The magic! Look, it's just more fun to just go like this with water balloons in my hand. <laughs> ah! Oh my god, we could do that, you know, like in westerns where they're like, dance! And you like try and like. <laughs> Okay, I still can't even get the old <laughs> No, a water balloon just peed on me. Oh. <laughs> if you throw them in the grass, they break in the grass. Okay, so the final verdict is I'm not exactly sure how I feel about these things. I kind of am going to compare them to Juggle Bubbles, which we did last summer, because on a whole, I don't feel like they work perfectly, but they still are quite a bit of fun to use and play around with. So I kept a count of all of the ones that never inflated or deflated really quickly, or ones that had teeny tiny holes in the bottom, which I mean, they are just balloons. So obviously just like anything else, they're gonna have like tiny, you know, defects or some of them are gonna break. At the end of the day, my personal experience is out of the 120, I only got 82 actual water balloons. And some of those are what I would call runts. They were teeny tiny. At least 38 of them didn't inflate or they inflated just a teeny tiny bit to where they did not make a water balloon. Also, I do just wanna say it's kind of weird how thick or tough these water balloons are. They were extremely difficult to pop. They popped really easily on the grass, but sometimes even when we were throwing them down on the wood patio, they weren't breaking. There's a lot of these balloon things on the market and I'm kind of wondering if maybe this is the best option. There's also a bunch of balloons, which I thought was the original item, like the original device, and then suddenly like Balloon Bonanza came out and you saw that everywhere. So like this video if you want me to try like bunch of balloons or there's a couple of other things just like this on the market. So like this video if you want me to test out another water balloon thing. We tried to go outside and clean up all the little pieces because I'm pretty sure that's important for water balloons. You want to try and pick up all the pieces of balloon off the ground so that you don't hurt pets or animals like birds and stuff. I've heard that birds sometimes think that water balloons are worms. So we tried to pick up all the little pieces of plastic. I just wanted to say that out there as like a public service announcement so people don't think I'm totally like a jerk. Thank you guys so, so much for hanging out and for watching. I would love to hear you guys' thoughts and opinions on this. If you're not already and you'd like to be, hit that button down below. Subscribe, become a member of the Swamp Family, and give an alligator its wings. Also, if you want, you can like me on Facebook, facebook.com slash graveyardgirl. Or you can also follow me on Twitter, Tumblr, or Instagram at graveyardgirl. Same way it's spelled here. I love you guys so, so much, and I will see y'all tomorrow. Bye!